Greetings from the Newport Naval Base. We're at the um, Chapey Fitness Center today. My name is Elois, and we're going to do a 45 minute vinyasa practice with a focus on the shoulders and some neck um, mobility today. So that being said, if you have any shoulder issues, neck issues, and we're doing anything that triggers that, don't do it, okay? You can sit quietly, um, or you can modify it. And I will uh, obviously offer some modification blocks if you have them. If you don't, we are gonna start seated. So if you want something to sit on, I would grab a pillow or a folded up blanket. So sitting in easy pose, I'm gonna take the block, and just to show you, when I sit in easy pose, my lower back is a little rounded, right? And I really, to have, find a neutral spine, I really have to force it, right? It's not comfortable. So if I sit on a block, it's so much more comfortable, right? So figure that out for yourself. And then we'll cross the ankles. And then resting the hands, palms down, on our, on our thighs or the knees. Closing the eyes. Start to settle into breath. Our ujjayi breathing, our vinyasa breath, is an inhale, exhale through the nose. Right? If that's challenging for you, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. As long as you're breathing, the most important important thing going on right now right so we'll rotate those palms up and set an intention for your practice today right so it's a message it's a prayer it's something to meditate on right so maybe there's someone that's not feeling well in your in your in your universe in your world you want to send them some positive energy or something for yourself Two more rounds of breath. And then we'll take the hands, rotate the palms down, elbows are soft. And then just taking the chin, tucking the chin slightly and gaze this down. Or you can keep your eyes closed for this as well. Then we'll slowly just start to take the left ear over the left shoulder. So my left ear is actually in front of my shoulder and I'm just taking, just tilting my right ear up and starting to get a nice stretch on the right side, right? So scalene muscles um, from the shoulder all the way up behind the ear, right? We spend so much time with our head in flexion, tilted forward. Right. On your next exhale, Right, slowly bring the chin to chest. And when I say chin to chest, there's a space there. You're not compressing, right? You have a space, like you're holding an apple between your chin and chest. And then we'll take the right ear over the right shoulder. Right? So the left ear is tilted up. Yeah, feeling that nice stretch, nice and easy. One more round of breath, we'll bring the chin back to chest. Right? Taking the fingertips, tent them behind your head, gently hug the elbows towards one another. As you start to bring your head back to a neutral place, ears over the shoulders. Right? So from here, we are going to go into extension. Right? We're going to look up. But you go as, and I, this is not throwing the head back. Okay? So the fingertips are supporting, and just take, just look up. Open the throat, right? Of course, you don't have to have the hands behind you. But I like to do that, just to support the neck, right? This is, we're taking the cervical spine in all its ranges of motion right now. Right? And then on the next exhale, we'll bring the, the ears back over the shoulders, back to that neutral place, right? So that feels really nice. We'll extend the arms. 
calm self. Right? Start to rotate the palms down and then see if you can start to take the thumbs down towards the floor. Right? We're going to do this right, without coming into this, like punching the shoulders. You're gonna keep the shoulders in their pocket. So maybe you can only get your thumbs there. Doesn't matter. We're internally rotating the shoulders. And just find a little flow, right? So palms up, externally rotates the shoulder joint. Palms down, and then you see where you go with that. We'll do two more rounds. And we'll pause with the palms up. Like we'll be rounded. And then slowly rotating, taking the thumbs to face the ceiling, bring your hands in front of you. So there's a space, right? Wrist and elbows lined up with the shoulders. And we're gonna draw the fingertips towards the top of your mat. So we're protracting the shoulders, right? We're taking the shoulder blades away from the spine. So we're finding this little roundness in our back. And then start to retract the shoulder blades, keeping this very neutral. Don't arch the lower back, right? You start to draw the shoulder blades towards each other. And then find your rhythm. Three more rounds. I like to inhale as I protract, as I draw the shoulder blades away. Exhale as you draw them, but you can breathe, right? You find your own rhythm. One more. And then we'll bend the elbows and bring the arms down. Elevation is drawing the shoulder, top of the shoulders up towards our ears, right? So yes, we spend most of our day walking around like this. And then drawing them way down, depressing the shoulders. Right, so inhale, we're elevating. Exhale, depressing the shoulder blades. Two more rounds. And then we'll just do a little shoulder circles. Right, so we're gonna try not to elevate our shoulders today in our practice. Right? We're gonna try to keep them in their pockets, which means they're just in that neutral place, right? Gentle fist with the thumbs out, elbows rest by the rib cage, and just do some wrist rollers, right? Rolling the wrists, and then go in the other direction. Right? Open the hands, close the hands, open, close, Open, close, one more round. Beautiful, everyone. So let's take the block out for the moment. Oh no, sorry. Stay with the block, my goodness. Stay with the block. We're gonna uncross our legs and cross them in the other direction. Taking the hands, palms down. Start to round the back and tuck the chin. Right, your inhale, let's sit up nice and tall. Maybe find a little anterior, so you sit up into a neutral spine or find a little anterior tilt and look up. Right. And find your rhythm, see the cat cat. Exhale, the inhale is a neutral spine or find that cow, tiny little anterior tilt and that lower back. Right, so you're just, exaggerating your natural curve just a tiny little bit. That's an anterior tilt, right? And then we'll find, after that last cow, we'll find that neutral spine. Get your block or your book or your stool, whatever you need, right? Place it on the right side. I'm gonna inhale my left arm up. Right? I'm tenting my, I have really long arms, so I'm tenting my fingertips, right? Because I don't want to elevate that, that right shoulder. And I'm going to reach the left arm over. And just starting to come into some lateral flexion. 
right? So now we're moving our spine in all its planes of motion, right? We usually do this in tabletop. I wanted to switch it up today. On your next inhale, we'll take the shoulders back over the hips. And then exhale, take the left fingertips down. Inhale, the right arm comes up. Check in with that left shoulder. And then we reach the right, shoulder, right fingertips over. So palms are down. Or, you know, they can face forward or up. I like it down. It keeps my shoulder in its neutral place. Right? But everyone's different. You have to play with these things. Right? What's good for me may not be good for you and vice versa. On your next inhale, we'll come back, shoulders over hips, taking the hands back to our knees. Now we're gonna find a gentle rotation. So our hips are gonna stay pointed in the same direction. Again, the right hand comes by the right hip. Block if you want, right, you can rest on the block. Take, inhale the left arm up, keeping the gaze forward, we're gonna exhale, take the left hand to the right knee, right? Inhale, elongate that spine like there's a string pull on the top of your head towards the ceiling. The exhale, we twist. So it's really gentle, right? Just a very gentle twist in our thoracic spine, right? Our T-spine. So that sits between our lumbar, lower back, and our neck. 12 vertebrae. Most people are tight there, right? On your next exhale, we'll come back to center, rest both hands on the knees. Reset. Left hand goes to the mat or a block. Inhale, take the right arm up. And then we'll take the right hand to the left knee, keep the gaze forward. Inhale, elongate. And then on the exhale, we find our twist. On your next exhale, come back to center. Beautiful, everyone. Right, so we'll uncross our ankles. If you're sitting on something, just take it over to the side. And let's come into a child's pose. So knees wide if you want them. I like that, it's my preference. But you can bring the legs together. You find what works for you. We sink the um, arms forward. If the forehead doesn't come to the floor or the mat, you put something under there. Support the head, please. One more round of breath, right? And on that next inhale, come to tabletop. If the knees were wide, we'll tuck them back under the knee, uh, under the hips, right? Connect your right hand. Take that left arm. So the hips have to stay over the knees, right? And you're gonna inhale and take that left arm up. So we're opening up. Right. So it's very easy to swing the hips. Then you get a bigger, bigger opening, but try to keep the hips over the knees as much as you can. If you want some height, put that right hand on the block. So we're coming into another rotation, and you can see like this is my ouchy side. So you can see I'm not getting huge, right? It doesn't matter. Then on your exhale, soften that right elbow. Thread your left arm underneath, palm up, and you can rest on the left ear or put a block under there. So we just started to open up the back of the shoulder here, right? And we'll find a flow for three more rounds, right? So inhale, press into that right hand, bring that left arm up. Exhale, thread through. Inhale, find this twist. Exhale, bring it down. We've got one more, and then we'll go to the other side. And we'll come back to tabletop to reset. All right, so this time, um, left wrist is under the shoulder, a little bit in front, a little bit in back. Keep the hips over the knees as much as possible as you inhale and take that right arm up. So I have a little bit more mobility on this side. On the exhale, Right, soften that left elbow, 
Thread that right arm through, palm up, rest on the right side. Right, and just watch that left shoulder starts to hike up, starts to elevate, put it in its pocket. And let's find our, th our flow. Inhale, thread, I'm sorry, twist. The exhale, we thread through. Two more. We'll be in a tabletop, right? I invite you to move with me or you move on your own breath. Right? We don't all breathe at the same pace. And we'll meet here in tabletop, which is awesome. So we're in our tabletop. We'll tuck the toes. Walk your wrists out just a little bit. Find your way to down dog. So I like to line my toes up, you know, about a distance apart. You can take them wider. You can take them as wide as your mat if you'd like. Hug the elbows towards one another. Really important, look at the hands. If you want to see how much you can get your wrist crease of your hands to be parallel with the mat. Now that being said, if you have shoulder issues or that's crunchy, you can take your hands out, right? You can take your hands out like this or wrist issues, blocks are fantastic. Because it's all about shoulders today. So try putting something elevating the hands, and that will take some of the stress off your wrist. Okay, you can just play with that. And we'll pause here. We've been doing this in practice. A uh, little bit of hamstrings, right? So we'll come up on the balls of our feet, spread the toes, right? High heel position. And then on the exhale, draw the knee, uh, hips towards the knees. The inhale, we extend the legs. Three more rounds, right? Exhaling, inhaling, lengthening. And you don't have to extend the legs all the way. One more round. Pausing here, let's walk our dog. So we did a lot of prep. We did a lot of prep on our shoulders. I'm going to do a little bit of prep on the hips, right? So four more, three more, two more. Last one, bending both knees, right? Let's take, let's float or step. I like to take little steps to the top of our mat, right? Find the inhale, find this halfway left pause here, right? So the gaze is down, right? And we're not rounded, right? Open the heart, right? So inhale, lengthen the legs. Draw the shoulder blades towards one another, gaze is down. Right, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. This time we rise up on the inhale. Right, press through the feet, connect the palms together, and bring the hands to heart center. Coming into mountain. So our palms face forward. That's externally rotating your shoulders gently, right? If you don't like that, keep the palms facing and this is very neutral. Really good place for your shoulders. Most of us are rounded, right? Most of us get rounded from this all day, right? So we're opening the chest, closing the eyes, lifting the toes, coming into our three points on our feet. Some people say four and that's fine, right? I like three. It's the um, space below your big toe, your little toe, and your heel, right? We keep the inner arches lifted. That's your triangle of support, right? Bringing the toes back down, right? Extending them, because sometimes we clench the toes when we're, trying, when we're hanging on for that balance. So let's keep the toes extended, right? Bring the hands to the hip. Shift your weight into your right foot, right? Make that right leg nice and strong. Contract the muscles in the right leg. And then we'll lift the left leg. And we're doing a little flexion here. Right, arms are where they need to be. Go to the wall or a piece of furniture if you need support. And then take that left leg out to the side. Now we're externally rotating our hips. Our hip. Right, and then start to lift that left ankle as you rotate the left knee in. Right, 
it just fell out of it, right? So I'm gonna come back to it. And now we're internally rotating. Draw that left hip, I'm sorry, left heel behind the left knee and a little tiny donkey kick, right? So don't over, don't over arch that lower back. We're just getting a little squeeze in our glute here, right? And then bringing that left knee back up tucking the chin, floating, which is where we bend the knee, tuck the chin, and we float back to Crescent Warrior, or you can step back to that pose, right? We rotate that left hip, turn the left glutes on, our butt muscles, and then bring the arms up to frame your ears. And here we are in our beautiful Crescent Warrior, right? And it's wobbly, so this is again, we're pressing into the ball of that back foot, spreading the toes, right? And we're gonna keep our shoulders very neutral. On the exhale, we hinge forward, palms face in, and you line your arms up with your ribcage. The inhale, sweep the arms up to frame the ears as much as possible. If they're in front a little bit, doesn't matter, right? You do what you can. Exhale. Hinge forward. The inhale, you rise. It's so much fun. Two more, right? You might fall out of the pose. If you do, you just come back to it. We don't worry about that, right? You're supposed to fall out of your poses. Rising up, coming up here, and then opening up into warrior two. So that back foot is at a 45 degree angle. We have a nice lunge in that front leg. Our shoulders are over the hips. If you feel punch, pinchy in the front hip, it's probably because you're leaning forward, you're doing baton man, you're doing running man, right? So we bring the shoulders over the hips. You look down, you can see the inside of your foot. If you can't, right? Like, what does that mean? That means if you're doing this, you're tight in the hips. It doesn't matter. Back it off and reset it. I would rather you didn't go as deep with proper alignment, right? We don't want to be doing that to our knees and hips. You'll eventually get there. The more practice you do, because that's what my warrior two used to look like. I wish someone had told me to not do that, right? Arms come up, we're gonna externally rotate the shoulders, palms up, gaze follows the heart. So you're gonna look same way your chest is pointing, right? Lift that in our arch of that back foot especially, right? So you don't want to be rolling in. You want to keep that nice and strong, contract the muscles, right? On your inhale, we're going to take that right forearm onto the right leg, right? Gently press through, keep the neck long, don't collapse into that right shoulder, and reach the left arm over. And here we are at side angle, side angle prep. Right. The inhale, lengthen that front leg, reach the right arm back. I like to rest my left, my left palm on my hamstring, but you can wrap it around or tent the fingertips. That's just my preference. So reverse the triangle, we're reaching that right, those right fingertips, palms down, right? Strengthen your legs, contract the muscles, and the flow here is the exhale is side angle prep. The inhale is the reverse. Two more. We'll meet. We're going to meet in that side angle. So right here is where we're gonna meet. So here we are. On your next exhale, we'll sweep that left hand down to the inside of the right foot, pivot on the back toes. Here we are in runner's lunge. All right, so the left hand, that left wrist is under the left shoulder or a little bit, I like it a little bit in front or on a block and find your twist, take that right, float those right fingertips up, right? Sinking the hips towards the mat, but pay attention to that left heel. Draw that left heel towards the back of your mat. I promise you, you're gonna get a bigger stretch in the front of that left leg. Right. On your next exhale, bring that right hand down to frame your foot. Take your left foot up to meet the right. So now we're at the top of our mat again. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Folding on the exhale, rising on the inhale. Connect the palms overhead, bring them down to your front side. Okay, connect the left foot. So this is my more stable side, we'll see how I go today. Right, connect it. We'll lift the right knee up this time. Right, so that hip, 90 degrees, maybe it's a little lower, right? You lift it up, pull the belly in on the exhale. This is core work. You gotta use your, you gotta use that rectus abdominis. Take that knee out to the side. Sternally rotate the hips, right? Arms are wherever you want them for stability. Maybe you're holding on to something, fingertip to the wall or the arm of your couch today. And then rotating that right ankle, taking it up, drawing that right knee towards the midline of the body, internally rotating. Then we gently sweep the right heel behind the right knee and just do a little donkey kick. But see how I'm standing up nice and tall, no exaggeration in that lower back. And then drawing that right knee, line with the right hip. So I'm gonna step back. Last time I floated, right? So the float is hinging forward, left knee is soft, right? Or you just take that right foot and step it back. And here we are in Crescent Warrior. We did it on the other side. Bring the arms up. And again, this is where you can get like really crunchy here in those shoulders. Open it up, right? Keep the shoulders in their pockets. On the exhale, we bring the arms down, palms face in, line those arms up with your rib cage. Inhale, sweep it up. Three more. Follow the breath. Let the movement, I mean, let the breath dictate your movement, right? The exhale, we hinge forward. The inhale, we sweep it up. We have one more round. And then we open up, warrior two. Back foot's at a 45 degree angle as much as possible. Again, you look down, you can see the inside of your foot. So you just want the knees tracking over the toes, right? Which means you're not rolling in or rolling out, right? Keep the joints healthy, please. Oh, it's not worth it. Arms come up, right? Rotate the palms up. Gaze follows the heart. On your next exhale, we'll take that left forearm onto the left leg. Reach the right arm over. And here we are. So your arm might be in front of your ear. I've actually, after you know, eight years of practicing, I've been able to get my shoulder, my arm on my on this side over the ear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's here, right? We're all in different places. Right? Big huge stretch on that right side body. On your next inhale, we'll lengthen that front leg. Sweep the left hand back, palms down, reach the left fingertips. Rotate that right shoulder, right? So don't, don't collapse in, right? Keep that neck long. Reach the left fingertips back. And let's find our flow for three rounds, right? Exhale, side angle, prep. Inhale, our reverse triangle, right? Feel the pose. I don't like moving super fast. I like to feel the pose. When you rush through it, you don't get the, you don't get the work. Right, one more round. We'll meet in that side angle. We are gonna add something onto this vinyasa. Right, so bringing this back to our side angle prep. This is where we transition into our runner's lunge. Right, so on your exhale, Sweep those right fingertips down in front of, um, on the inside of that left foot, we pivot on the back toes, right? So we're in this runner's lunge, right wrist on the mat or the block. As you inhale, take that left arm up, right? So gaze goes towards the left, or you keep the gaze down, right? I like to move the gaze, you know, gaze follows the heart, right? Draw that right heel towards the back of your mat. So this is our add-on team, right? On your next exhale, left fingertips sweep, sweep past the left toes as we get long on our mats. 
right? So we're in prasarita. So we're gonna do a little arm stuff. We're gonna do a little shoulder work, right? So we're in our prasarita. Wide-legged forward fold, right? Actually, I'm gonna face this way so you can see what I'm doing, all right? So walk your hands out like down to our bottoms because we're gonna add a twist here. I'm gonna offer two different variations of this, right? So ears come between the arms. Right? We equal out the weight between the ball and the heel of the, of the feet. Flex the front of your legs. Right? Lift the inner arches. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Now, your choice is you can connect that right hand, right? Heel of the hand, knuckles, fingertips. Thread the left arm through so it goes underneath the right arm, holding onto the shin or the hamstrings, not behind the knee and getting this twist. Now, if that's too much on your right shoulder, take your left hand under the heart and do a twist. All right, so you pick which one feels good. Because you know what, like, maybe you have a separation in your shoulder or uh, you've got some ligament damage, right? Please don't stress the shoulders in a bad way. We have one more round of breath here. Right, and on that exhale, the left hand goes back. Right, we reset, down dog arms. And right, you know what, one side might be appropriate, the other might not, right? So taking that right hand, thread it under the left arm, we hold on to the, the calf or the um, hamstrings of that left leg. Or you take the left hand under your heart and find your twist. Now, I'm sorry, right hand, and find your twist. Right. Do what feels good on your body. Right? If you're in this twist here with your hand on your leg, your gaze can go between the knees or you can look under that left arm. On your next exhale, take the right hand back. We'll walk the hands back. Right? So now we're in this, um, we'll inhale to a, to a neutral spine. Right? Bend your right knee, extend the left leg. Draw that right hip towards the right heel, right? Back is neutral, our gaze is down. Get a nice stretch in that left leg. And then we'll come back to center and do the other side. So bending that left knee, extending the right leg. Feels really nice. Pivot around, right? So your, right, your left foot's at the top of your mat. We'll take that right foot up to meet the left. Inhale to your halfway lift. Fold it. Let's rise it up. Nice and strong. Come on up. Nice and strong. Maybe a little standing back bend. Like greet the day. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's plant the palms. Step back to your high plank. And then just come down onto the And then we'll press back, find a little child's pose. So on the inhale, let's come back. Let's find a little, let's find our thunderbolt position. You can sit in easy pose too, like we started the practice. So we're gonna start to work on our shoulders. We're gonna to start to find the bind, right? So take the right arm up. So this is a tricep stretch. If you work out at all, you've probably done this before. So the right hand's gonna go behind, the left hand's gonna go on top of the right shoulder. Oh, here we go, it's fantastic, right? Maybe getting a little stretch here. You have to be mindful with this that you don't push the head forward, right? Now, to grow this, right, you can take that left arm behind you. So see what happens, this left, left shoulder rolls in, it's internally rotated. Might not be appropriate, right? Now, I'm gonna turn around, because this is the impressive, this is how impressive I am, right? This is, how, this is where I am with this, right? I'm not overarching my back, right? I'm keeping my back nice and neutral, I'm pulling my belly button to spine, right? And you can put a towel here, right? Towel, a yoga belt, right? If you wanna do that, put it in the right hand, Come in to the pose, and then the left hand holds on. And there you are, right? And 
we're sitting up nice and tall. So this month, the month of April, is uh, going to be a big focus on the shoulders. Right? We're going to learn some binding. It's going to be really great. It's going to be really fun. I'm trying to, I'm mixing it up here at JP Fitness Center. Right? So let's release that. Roll the shoulders out. We're going to do the other side. So I have really limited mobility on this side. Right? So I'm taking the left hand up. Left arm up, rather. Right, taking my left hand behind, and then my right, my right hand is on my elbow. And maybe I'm just going to hang out here, right? Just pausing here. But I'll show you what this side looks like. Not even close. Not even close from where I was on my right side. So this is where you would take your shirt or a towel, right? Take it into the left left hand, and then the right arm comes back. We sit up nice and tall and get a bigger stretch. So again, like now my right shoulder is going to be internally rotated. See what feels good for you. Right, keep the head nice and neutral. Don't let the arm, that left arm, push your neck forward. Right. And we're going to work on this. Because we're going to come in, we are going to do binds. Next class, we will be doing a semi bind in side angle. That's next week. Or uh, the week after. I won't be here next week. And we'll release. If you are using a prop, just put it over to the side. Roll the shoulders back two more times. Find your child's pose. We'll inhale, come to our tabletop. And let's do four rounds of cat cow here. Right, we did the seated at the beginning. Right, so rounding the back, tucking the chin. Press the mat away, but Pause here, because this is where we start to roll the shoulders and elevate them, right? We don't want to do that. Then the inhale, you come to a neutral spine, gazes down, or you can, you, you can drop the belly and keep the gaze down, right? If this looking forward doesn't, and putting the head in extension doesn't feel good on your neck, don't do it. You can keep the gaze down, right? Three more rounds. And then we'll meet in our child's pose. Okay, so coming into this child's pose, resting the forehead. So we're really warmed up now. We're gonna do one more stretch for the, for the shoulders, right? So you're gonna lay on your mat. I'm just gonna lay this way so you can see what I'm doing, right? Now, a block maybe or something to support the head if you have challenges with that, the right arm's going to extend, right? I keep it below my shoulder. This is like that door frame stretch. Are you gonna rest on your right ear and then press into your left hand and start to stack the left hip on top of the right. Maybe you can take that foot behind you. Right, but listen, we are on small muscles here. Well, you've got your pec major, but we're really getting into that pec minor. Right, so please be mindful. Don't go further than you should. Right, and then we'll take that left hip on the exhale. We'll bring the left hip back to the mat. And we'll go over to the other side. So extending the left arm, resting on the left ear, taking the right hand, pressing it into the mat. Now, I don't go as big on this side because this is my wonky side, right? I just have something going on in there. Not sure what it is because it comes and goes. Right? So just being mindful. Not really babying it, just being mindful. Right? Taking it to my, when my body says stop, that's when you stop. Listen to your body. Then we'll slowly come back to bringing that right hip back to the mat on the exhale. 
pressing into the mat. One more child's pose. Rolling up. And we're gonna finish our practice seated like we started it, right? So if you want something to sit on, grab it. Lock is your best friend. Ankles crossed. All right, so palms are down. And we're just, we're just gonna scan the neck, right? So just drawing the, the ch uh, chin to chest. Right? And then taking, going over to the um, left ear. Right? So check out that stretch on the right side, right? From the shoulder up to the, goes along the neck, right behind the ear. How does it feel? And then we'll bring the chin back to the chest. I hope it feels a little bit better than when we started. We'll go over to the other side. And then we'll bring the chin back to chest. Fingertips, let's tent them to the back of the skull. Right, gently keep the shoulders in their pockets. Gently hug the elbows towards one another. On the inhale, we'll bring the ears back over the shoulders. Neck is neutral. Then if you would like to find this extension, we spend most of our day in flexion, which is when your head is looking down. Right? It's terrible. Hold your phone up like this. I know it looks silly. It's gonna help your neck so much, right? So let's just do a little counter, um, counter pose and find this extension. For one more round of breath, and then we'll slowly bring the ears back over the shoulders. Release the arms, palms are up closing the eyes. So I'm going to leave you here. If you'd like to take a Shavasana, maybe you'd like to do that sitting, uh, seated today, I'd take anywhere between three and five minutes, or you can lay on your mat with knees bent or legs extended, right? You can let go of your Ujjayi breathing. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, if there's any comments, um, post them on the YouTube page, right? and I will respond. You have any questions we are back um, if you live in the area we are back and you have access to the fitness center we are back um, teaching live classes with masks on and that is i'm here every friday at um, five o'clock so namaste thank you so much